today to Westchester, the county seat of Chester County. You know, I was thinking about this rally today and what I could say that would just not be a lot of talking points and just say something that you've all heard before. And before I went to sleep, I had a lot of good ideas. You know how when you're sort of drifting off and you, you think these great ideas and when you wake up and you think them again and you think, eh, it's, I'm not going to do it. But I was thinking about the freedom that each of us as women and as men, but I'm going to speak to the women today, as women that we enjoy in America. We have freedom and economic freedom. We're allowed to work pretty much wherever we'd like to make as much money, to own land. Remember, women could not own land at one point. We have educational opportunities. So the freedom to choose where we want to go to college, what kinds of uh, uh, careers that we'd like to pursue. There was a woman that I spoke to the other day who said that they moved here from Europe and they specifically came to Chester County, to Westchester, because she was so impressed with how we believe that there is a potential in each and every child that in Europe, where she's, she came from, that people are skirted off into, uh, you know, by the time you're 12, are you going to college or not? You don't have that opportunity. So as women, we have that opportunity. We also have religious freedom. We're allowed to be Quakers. We're allowed to be Episcopalians. We can be Catholics. We can be Jews. We can be whatever we want. We can be atheists. And as the Declaration of Independence guaranteed us, that we have individual rights and individual responsibility. Keep your legs closed, that's your responsibility. Keep yours in your pants, that's your responsibility. As my cousin Martha Gibbons Thomas, who was the woman who preceded me in the State House, she was a suffragette in the first class at Bryn Mawr College and the first woman to be elected from Chester County after women gained the right to vote, I look to her as someone who fought for what was right. Women needed to have the opportunity to vote. And we women must get out and vote. That's why we need to support Lois Her in this upcoming election. <laughs> the reproductive freedoms that we now enjoy are being chipped away slowly but surely. And the Stupac pits, and I love that sign where it says Stupac, it's stupid. Yes, it is. Stupac pits amendment is the pits. It is all wrong. It is a step back for women. In China, they had forced abortions. In Romania, they had forced pregnancies. In America, we need to protect our right to choose. And I'm going to close with um, a couple of, there, the, I, I looked them up on the internet, there are these um, quotes that all of us have heard, they are unknown, unknown authors, but I, I love them. This one says, of course abortion isn't right, but it is even less right to bring unwanted children into lifelong suffering and to strip women of their choice. Making abortion illegal is not the way to prevent it. There is a much larger picture that starts with much deeper roots. Another one says, no woman wants an abortion. Either she wants a child or she wishes to avoid pregnancy. I want to change that to, to no woman wants an abortion. Either she wants a child or doesn't. <laughs> 